This has already been mentioned here by the panel, every growth area across America, that is the number one issue that employers are facing right now is workforce. Uh, both in quantitative and qualitative, both in numbers of employees available and the skills that uh, particular employees have for the new jobs that are in the new economy, particularly in manufacturing. It's certainly been the primary issue that we've faced to the point where LVDC started several years ago a regional education and talent supply council made up of all of our educators, K-12, our vocational technical schools, community colleges, and then our employers to try to understand the issues of both supply and demand, what the economy is demanding and what training and education community is uh, supplying. Uh, the question that we're interested in, we're going to start with Tim, is do you see the uh, role for the federal government in supporting uh, education and skills development and training and, and how? In what ways do you see the federal government having a role in creating a qualified and skilled workforce? So these needs are real, absolutely. I mean, I've seen this for years uh, in my career. It started at Fox. Actually, while I was working at Fox, I did a story here at Air Products of, you know, <coughs> about how there were hundreds of jobs available Skilled workers, uh, welders, machinists, these are great jobs, $50,000 a year sometimes. I mean, really great jobs that people could have right out of high school that they couldn't fill. Uh, and I saw it again, working in 69 News, uh, the need for skilled workers. So it's, I think that we definitely need these jobs and we should, we should train people for them and have apprenticeship programs and things like that. I would say the, the execution of those programs, I'm more comfortable with that happening at state and local levels, just because I feel like the federal government administering them puts more bureaucracy involved. And the fact of the matter is, people here in our communities know better what the needs are and, 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 and what, what companies need. I mean, the companies who are here who can participate in some of these programs and help build them, they know what they need. Uh, so it's an important thing that we should do as a community. I also, along those lines, um, I think that, I just think that companies know what they need and they and the local governments are best at, at administering them. Okay, thank you, Tim. Marty? Yeah, you know, skilled labor and trades are not getting the attention they deserve. There is a massive shortage of these positions out there. And we need to fill them. But we also got to train people to fill them. I mean, these are skilled labor positions. You just don't show up on the job site on day one and know how to uh, run wire to be an electrician, fix plumbing, fix heating. So we got to encourage people to participate in trade schools. You know, maybe more so than four-year colleges. And one thing I've said, and, I've, and, I've, and I mentioned this, and you might have read in the paper, I want to create a center here in the Lehigh Valley that has workforce development programs for kids after school. Train them while they're in high school, 16, 17 years old. Train them how to become plumbers, electricians, lay carpet, learn how to paint. Start paying them. Give them a job while they're still in school. And then you work with local corporations and businesses, Don, to train their own workforce development. So you know you're feeding your own pipeline. I mean, this is a program that works better than getting any federal government involved in, and that's something I would like to see happen right here in the Lehigh Valley. And as your next congressman, I'll push hard to make sure you know, through private dollars and a little bit of public dollars, we can create such a center here for the kids of the Lehigh Valley. Thank you. Susan? 